Hey everybody, it's uh, Simple Electronics Dude here. So I haven't posted over a month. I've been sick, then my kid got sick, then my wife got sick. Uh, it's very funny how when one person gets sick in the household, everybody gets sick. And then I went on vacation, so I'm back. Alright, so what I have before you is a uh, VU meter with a AN6884 chip. Uh, what a VU meter does, it takes the sound, and then depending on the decibels of the sound, it pops the LED turning it on. The higher the sound, the more LEDs. Lower the sound, the less LEDs. Funny how that works. Now unfortunately my homemade jack, my audio jack is not working with my phone. So I have a very, very classic song for you two guys today. And it's from my Game Boy, Pokemon Red. So anyway, the LEDs will probably blot out the uh, camera. So I'm going to cover it with this piece of paper. And then you're going to see the LEDs bounce to the great old Pokemon Red. Oh yeah. Give it a minute. Or seconds. There it goes. Mm -hmm. for that. All right, so yet again, I have my little schematic. Now this is one side of the board, so I'm only going to do the one side. All right, so I'm going to take everything apart, and I'm going to show you the parts list. Okay, uh, the parts you're going to need, uh, start from the top, is of course the. AN6884. Now I showed you in a previous video, like the uh, LM3D6, the uh, ANS has a little divot. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. See how it's I know, pretty sharp on this side, but it curves down. That is the front, meaning this pin is number one, thus making this pin number nine. All right, next one, of course, you have your five LEDs. Then you need your 10K, uh, 10K resistor, which is the Oops, backwards. The color code is brown, black, orange. Get the no 10Ks because I have a lot of them and I use a lot of them. Uh, the other next one is going to be a 10 UF uh, electrical data passer. Then the next one is going to be a 2.2 electrical data capacitor. Okay, and then you have a 10K potentiometer now it has three leads now you're gonna see on the, my paper it says POT for potentiometer now the P is center you turn it this way it says POT so center is P to the left of the P is O the far side is T so it spells pot so POT all right Let's straighten this out and let's build it. All right, I forgot to mention you need battery. I'm using a uh, Radio Shack uh, battery pack that has four batteries, but I'm jumping one because I only need uh, uh, four and a half volts, not six. So, battery. Okay, so now let's put the uh, AN6884, like I said. Here's the divot, so it's going to be right there. Now here is my negative, and here's my positive. So my it goes to lead number nine is my positive. So put it right there. So there it goes. Bam. All right. So let's start from the top. LED one. Yeah. See where it says positive, negative. Remember, the longer lead is positive, the shorter lead is negative. Also, if you look at the little, if you look at LED, there's going to be a little smooth part on the, and you probably can't see it. We'll just buy an LED, you'll figure it out. Um, this is the smooth side, so that's the negative. So, let's go, here's row one, positive, two right there. Oops, let's just undo that. Next LED. 
positive, negative, positive, negative, number three, here's number four, and of course line five goes to our negative, so then it would jump to line six, which is our last LED. Now, you can use multitudes of LEDs. I built one that was actually like, that went from one to ten LED. And then row one and two were connected, row three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So it went up like in like a little triangle. And then you can also have a second one where it goes up like, you know, pyramid. Okay? So then row six is LED. Row seven is a 10K. Goes from six to negative. So let's go row six. Negative. Remember, the uh, resistors are not polarity, so you can put them any order you want. Okay, then the next one you need the 10 UF. 10 UF is not that one, this one. Remember, it's the 10 positive and the 10 negative. So, remember, the negative electric lytic has this nice low strike. So, let's go to Negative. Right, there we go. Okay. Row 8 has a connecting from 8 to the P. So the center one. So we take the center lead of our potentiometer and put it right there in row 8. Now row 9 is positive. We have that. So now we need the audio. Here's my audio. Of course, one, one audio goes to ground. Plug it in right now. Goes to ground. The other audio goes to uh, audio positive up here. Let's push that a little further, make it a little bit easier on me. And then it goes from the negative side of the 2.2 uh, .2 UF. And then it goes to the P side, or the T, sorry, T. T of the potentiometer. So goes over here. And then the O, the last lead of the potentiometer, goes to ground. Now I also have it hooked up to my LM386 op amp just to give you guys the sound because if I just turn it on right now, you're gonna see LEDs bounce. And here nothing. Because it's hooked up from my Game Boy to here, no external sound. So I'm gonna hook up my LM386. All right, sorry for that. That's okay. So now, bing. Oh, I'm block my camera. Now, so now hopefully I don't know if you can see all the LEDs with one, two, three, four, five. Now see how it bounces like that. Now, what the potentiometer will do is I will turn this off. But now, so don't blot out my camera again. I'm going to take my potentiometer, turn it back on. And now, I'm going to turn this down. What this will print potentiometer will do will actually not hear any sound. We don't see any lights because I put the potentiometer so high that it requires such a great sound for it to produce even one light. But if I turn it all the way up, it takes almost nothing. So then almost all the LEDs are almost always on. So if I turn it just right, I can have it to where I can set it. So where it's nice and it's bouncing to the music and everything is perfect. All right. I will thank you for listening and I uh, hope you subscribe to my videos. Uh, hopefully there will be more. Hopefully it doesn't get sick anymore. Uh, this is uh, Simple Electronics, dude. Hopefully you enjoy your VU meter.